we're gonna pick up right where we left off yesterday. Uh, I wasn't gonna stream today, but it's uh, it's just a nice chill Sunday. I was out for some some services this morning. It's for Rem Remembrance Day in Canada, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to not work. I've been working hard this week, and I thought maybe today would be a good day to not work. So I'm gonna stream a little bit. Uh, last night uh, I did play a little bit past the end of the stream, and I put the bubble column in the elevator. We've also hooked it up to the string farm way down at the other end of the mine and we've sent a few string and a few spider eyes down along and everything seems to be working. However, um, we ended up with some string and some spider eyes over here, uh, which shouldn't happen until these things are all full. So what that says to me is that the filters out the back can't handle tons and tons and tons of items um, when large stacks get clumped up then it's a problem. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is easy, easy to control. And all you do is you just slow down the auto droppers. So I'll show you guys where I hooked things up down below here. And we're going to, today we're going to hook up the overflow system to the greenhouse. Uh, but we have a now a water stream that this goes all the way back to the, to the mine, uh, to the spider, uh, spider farm. But this connects to the bottom of that bubble column. The issue is that we're getting too many items coming in at once. So what we can do is change this repeater to be a little bit delayed. And that means that as the items go into that dropper before they get shot out onto the soul sand, uh, it'll just shoot out slower. And we have one hopper. And that should be enough to hold any kind of overflow, I think. Um, I'm not really too worried about losing spider eyes and string. We have tons. Uh, and it's it's an uh, endless resource because of the spider farm. There are three spider spawners, cave spider spawners. So we've got a tons, of, tons of stuff that we can harvest that way. So let's go down. Well, we're down here now. I guess we might as well just take the long way. I think I might actually do the same thing at the dropper at the farm just to uh, to make sure that that's something that we can we can handle volume wise because we eventually once we have everything hooked up what we want to do is turn on um, I guess an emptying system that I set up and we'll take a look at that uh, I think the doorway was right here yeah so this is the other end of the water stream you see it goes all the way down uh, but the items come out on the side here and they just drop. Oh, hello, friend. Did I bring arrows? I did. You, sir, are toast. Um, anyway, so yeah, the items come out through here. I don't know if we can see up here or not. We might be able to see a little bit. Can't really see in there, but the items essentially come through here and they get put into the water stream and then just kind of juked and jive left and right here just a little bit just to get lined up with the way that we wanted it to go so we didn't have to dig a whole brand new tunnel which is good and then we have everything here set up so there is the dropper and it starts everything off going down that way this is all hooked up so if anybody uses the farm all of the drops from the string and the spider eyes are going to bypass this old storage system and they go into the dropper. However, I think I'm going to do the same thing here and put that on a one delay. And I'll show you the difference. If I just grab, let's grab like maybe 32 string. So if we put, uh, say, 16 in here. See, they it spaces them out enough that I don't think they clump up. It'll be hard to see items move so fast now in the game we'll probably miss them but yeah see like they're staying staying individual some of them are missing so that's good to know i didn't realize we we're getting some loss as we go over these edges but that's fine we'll have to sort that out later wasn't too worried about losing losing small items uh i sent like I said, a few hundred items through the system already, and most of them seem to have made it to the end storage system. So we maybe 
maybe we should put some sort of like uh, like a glass pane or something here for items to hit. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea. I also don't necessarily want mobs to grab them and end up being, you know, mobs that don't despawn. So, um, if we take a look at the way that the dropper works on its own with the other timing, you'll see that it's quite quick. We could also slow it down considerably, but so let's put another 16 string in here. Yeah, see, they're so they're so close together that I'm betting that they clump up. Not too bad. But eventually when they hit corners down, when they're turning around down the other side, they might clump up a little bit. Um, it's more so the drop, it's more so the elevator droppers that you get to worry about because they, they absolutely clump up uh, at the top of the water bubbles. That's, that's the biggest thing. So I'm going to leave this on the one. I think that's a one tick delay. So one, so I guess two ticks delay because having the repeater there in general is a one tick delay. So that would be the second tick. Um, so now we've got all this, this end really pretty much sorted. It's just now the other side and the fastest way to get back up to the top is going to be to take the minecart. Minecart exit. Old school. Love it. Okay. So this puts us over the top of the mine over here. So the first thing we need to do is take a note on where uh this drop section is going to be because this is going to be a hole that we dig back down not all the way down to the bedrock it's only going to go down to like level 6 60 58 something like that and we are currently at 69 so yeah we only have to go down about 20 blocks which is which is fine it should be good i think i just took a screenshot by mistake so we'll just grab some of this we're not digging the hole just yet I want to make sure that I have this. This is 253. Okay. So I think the water system that we want to hook things up to is over at 260 something. We'll see. So it's going to be really close to this beacon to just land here. So all of these farms are hooked up to an underground water system and we're going to hook the string, the overflow string is going to go into that water system. So if we go down here, whoops, we'll see here's the beginning of the water system and everything kind of goes in here and then it starts to shoot south and it goes all the way down to the greenhouse and some of them um, some of the items end up going to the um, the villager breeder, should we desire it to. So with that in mind, uh, I want the new items to come out here. So we're going to take a second. What's up here? Oh, it's actually just a light for outside. So I like the idea of having a path on the side here. Oh, we're going to run into our beacon. I was right, it is pretty close to the beacon. So we're gonna have a new water stream that comes in right here. And it's going to go under some ice here and then start into the stream here. And the question is, hmm, it is not going to interfere with the beacon but we're gonna to have to make sure that we do something here in the area so that when we do eventually move the beacon, if that ever happens, that um, we don't screw up the water system. So it's only a short, like only like nine blocks. Hey, there's Cosmic Dancer, how are you? Oh, thanks, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm just, it's just a chill stream. It's it's gonna be a lot of a lot of technical stuff. I um, 
I forgot to mention it in the Discord. Actually, so if you're in the Discord and you want to mention that I'm streaming, that'd be helpful. I appreciate it. I know Anna, um, Anagram, was looking to do water stream stuff. So I'm actually, I'm actually doing water stream stuff uh, today on stream. So if anybody's interested, that's going to be what's going on. Um, so let's just do this for now. And I think what we're going to have to do is go back and check to see where that's going to come out. And I hope we don't have to spend too much time hanging out at the farm because the sheep, even at low volume, are really annoying. Oh, we've got... it's nighttime. Let's go... Let's go sleep. Cool. Thanks, Cosmic Dancer. Much appreciated. Let's just hop in the bed here real quick. I would rather not have to deal with zombies. So it looks like streaming in 1080p is doable. I watched the stream a little bit from last night and it looks okay. Um, but it's it uses up about 50% of my CPU, which is, that explains why the heat fan comes on. Um, so I'm not sure about that. I'm also disappointed that they changed the color of spruce because it doesn't go as well with oak bark anymore. They used to be the same hue of brown and now they've added i think they've added more red to the spruce and they've made it lighter and it used to be darker so it red is a better match to the oak but i haven't played with any of the new textures to see if we can find another match for that but right now it's kind of ruined that look that sounded like a creeper falling from somewhere yep look at that creeper in Camouflage creeper in the lime green sheep pen. Now that's a snipe and a half. He must have come from the roof. Still haven't found a good solution for lighting up that roof without putting like torches all over it. Not a fan. So, uh, we need to figure out... Oh, I forgot to look at... Forget to look at what the coordinates were for that stream. Well, there's the beacon, and it was on the edge of the beacon. So, one, two, three, four. It was like here. So it's probably two sixty-five, two sixty-six. We're gonna dig from here anyway, so we we know we match up. We're gonna go backwards, but we'll have to come over about ten blocks. That should work okay. We'll have to do a little bit of a of a zigzag, but ten blocks is good because that means you can use one one water stream to get you halfway around one zig, and then the water stream, the next water stream will get you around the other zag. So if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> hey Jared, thanks for coming by, man. We are working on the water stream that we started last night. Uh, we're working on the overflow from the bulk storage of the string to move the excess string over to the greenhouse. And we are going to have to dig a tunnel to start. And it is gonna go, I think we're gonna go as far this way as probably 340 on, we'll say 330. So 330, 340, 340 on the Z axis, so north, we're going to go 340 north, and then we're going to have to do a little bit of a zigzag to line up with 253. So it's going to be under the ground here, and we have to make sure that it's deeper than 62. So it's going to be somewhere around 58, I think. So we're going to actually start that right now. Kind of a chill day. I wasn't planning on streaming, but I um, I had fun last night. I hadn't played Minecraft in a really long time, and I've been wanting to do something technical. I've been doing a lot of building lately, and that always requires a lot more planning. Surprisingly, you'd think technical stuff would be more planning, but I find that water streams are, I mean, really straightforward. Pardon the pun. They're a pretty straight line. 
So what do we need before we go down there? Do I have an ender chest up here somewhere? As I must. So I'm gonna. I've got buckets. I've got two buckets for water. Don't need that. And oh wow, lots of lag there. Uh, gonna need some ice. So I'll grab a stack of ice. I think I have all the. Um, Slabs and stuff I'm going to need, that's fine. Stone bricks, I might actually grab a stack of stone brick blocks uh, or close to it. That'll be good, just in case I want to mark anything important. And what else do I want? Oh, do I have any great glass? If I have great glass in here, that would be helpful. I have great dye and... Let's do half a stack of gray glass. We'll just boost this up. I keep on making gray glass, even though I've definitely put it somewhere safe in my storage system, but that's fine. So I think the glass we're gonna use by the beacon just so that we can very clearly see that there is a, uh, a water stream there. And I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory that I don't want or need. Um, Let's just dump some of this. What do I have? It's a farm. You can always use bones in a farm. You can always use dirt. And I'll put the granite in the silo. Before I used to just trash granite, but it's a it's a much nicer block now. So I've kind of started making sure I take the time to, to put it away. This is the community storage, but I've got some granite of my own. It's a nice relaxing day. Cosmic Dancer with the subscription. Thank you, thank you. Now, the notification that popped up, I didn't get a chance to read it because the text was really small. I think it said three months. That was fantastic. Um, and it is. Okay, so I had to wait for the Twitch chat to catch up because my... Streamlabs notification does not differentiate between gift subs and subscriptions. So thank you very much, Cosmic Dancer. It's very cool. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do here is make sure that everyone knows that this is meant to be not disturbed. So we're just going to do this. To make sure that people know not to break that down. So this is going to be the water stream. What level are we at here? 59. Ooh. We may have to lower this. Not entirely sure. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to fill this in. Do I want that iron? I know we have an iron farm, but there's this, I just can't leave iron. <laughs> I just can't leave it hanging around. I don't know why. It just feels so wasteful. Okay, so fill the rest of this in. So I think I'm a little bit low here. Yes. So this is technically going to be a walkway and right now it's just going to be stone that looks like that might be grass that is exposed I hope we don't break through I know in some places we're pretty close to the surface okay so I think the thing to do here is going to be to just dig a four by four. And I went back and changed all the beacons so that I've got um, haste too. 
all the way through. So this won't take very long. It's just going to be a matter of digging the four by four tunnel and then digging the, the water trough for everything. And then here, I think what I want to do is put in glass so that we know that this is uh, the beacon. That way we'll be able to see it from the other side. And if we go down there and try to move the beacon, then you'll see this, that there's a water stream here. Uh, yeah, granite, I'm not sure it's, I'm going to have to, it, I have to wait to see what the other textures are going to be like to see what I can use it with. I find that's the thing. Like, I mean, looking at a texture on its own, you can sort of say, yes, it's good or no, it's not good. But really, it all depends on context. What I like it is when I can find several blocks, like eight blocks that are all in like the same browns or the same blues or the same range. And then I can go from there. So uh, we have to go to 340 and we are at 450. So we've got 100 blocks to go. I have no idea what we're going to run into. We may have to go around. This is a path. What is that? Oh, that looks like. I'm not sure what I'm underneath there. It's a torch, so it's one of my, one of the lights, it looks like. Okay. More iron, more coal. We might pick up a few, a few goodies. I want to make sure I light this up as I go too, otherwise this is just going to be a death trap. Because everything else on the surface is lit up. Now, it sounds like we're under the brook. So where my head is at 62. Interesting. I do not want to run into water. Ah. Okay, so we're going to have to go a lot lower. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, what is going to be the best way to do that? So here's the beacon. Can't go too much lower because then we'll run into the beacon. So I think at some point we're going to have to... We're going to have to drop... We'll have to do another another elevator. There'll have to be an elevator here. So I think what we have to do now is we have to actually put in some of the have to count out some of the water placement stuff. So that's going to be tricky. So let's just do that for now. Get rid of you. And this will be ice. So this was built before the new water mechanics. I think I showcased it in like my first YouTube Let's Play. Um, but all of this is ice and it doesn't need to be. So we're not going to be using ice for every block. We're just going to be using it on every ninth block. So this has to be ice in order for the items to flow underneath. And then we have eight blocks of water source. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This becomes ice. I should just put all of this on my hotbar. And then this is a slab. And a good rule of thumb is um, if you put torches on every nine blocks, then everything is going to be lit up adequately, which is cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ice. The reason I'm counting this out is because wherever we end up with the elevator, I want it to be a nice, easy, um, I guess, calculation for where we're putting things. It just makes everything a lot simpler. You don't have to deal with um, crazy water overflowing. 
And people might ask, Joel, why are you getting all this coal when you've got a blaze farm and, and you're using other things? And that is because I actually really like coal blocks as a building material. So I'm looking forward to doing some cool stuff with that. Let's put some filler block in here that we don't care about. Well, thanks, Jared. I'm glad that you liked the Look Back episode. Unfortunately, a lot of the content that I was planning on doing with the Look Back episodes was lost or is lost, currently inaccessible because of that drive that crashed. And I am very disappointed. And it's my own fault. The drive did not fail. The drive was knocked off a table by me shortly after I said, Joel, you should be careful and remember not to knock that drive off the table. Oh, crap. What's this? Oh, I think this is Ryan's, I think this is Ryan's uh, secret lair, maybe. Yeah, this is Ryan's secret lair. He doesn't play on the server anymore, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, we're just going to roll on through. We'll use glass just so that he knows it's here. Um, I guess we could try to go under it, but I don't know where his stuff goes. Does he go the other way? I know he's dug deeper. Looks like he goes this way. Oh no, then he comes back. Okay. We'll just leave it where it is. He hasn't played on the server in almost a year, I don't think. Yeah, it's not so secret anymore. Um, Let's just see here. What what would be a good friendly decision? Even though he doesn't play on the server, I don't want to necessarily drive something through his space. But I don't think he's going to care. If he was active, I would ask him. But I think we'll just muscle on through. Alternatively, we could take this time to drop the tunnel, which actually might work out better because then we won't be so close to the surface. So maybe this is going to be a good opportunity to drop the tunnel here so that this will be actually a water elevator. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's, let's be the good neighbor. We'll have to replace some of this stuff. And we will drop the water stream at this section. So we won't need this or that. Double check here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need to go down. This is 57. So let's go down to, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just go down to 50. That'll just get us low enough. That will be clear of everything, I think. To make sure I know which way is which. Or 52? 52. I like the sound of 52. My inventory full already that's crazy full of what all right well i don't need that don't need that okay so this is the water elevator so that means that is going to be soul sand Let me just get rid of this again i guess i should probably just take a small stack of soul sand out just in case we need it in the future. And for the redstone, we'll need at least hopper. Actually, you know what? We don't need, no, we don't need redstone. 
we don't need redstone. We just use the same trick. So if this is water stream, then this needs to be ice. This needs to be a slab. And that will keep that water inside. And then we can just make this glass. And then this can also be glass. And I guess at some point, I guess this will have to be our our access. So I will need, I think I have ladders in this box. They need to make the inventory bigger in this game. With all the new blocks that are coming, it is going to be a real problem. I also need to stop by the barn and dump all this coal that I'm picking up. That's probably something else that's taking up space in my inventory. Like I have a whole stack of it. That's crazy. Uh, what can I, I don't need the dirt. All right, uh, diorite, we'll use you to fill in some gaps. Normally I ditch andesite as well, but uh, andesite has been handy lately. Uh, so this is going to be a ladder. Hey Jake, how's it going? Sorry, I didn't see you come in. I'd say that's probably good. Use a light there. So now we have a place to go up and down. And then this will be glass and stone. And then we can fill in Ryan's wall here. And I'll leave this empty. I know we don't necessarily want it but we'll leave that till the end um so this is one two three four five six seven eight perfect however lesson learned last time is that these things um they hit the roof and they spray all over the place if you don't put something for them to bump into so let's just do a little thing here and then we'll put glass for, let's say, probably three. That'll do it. Monsters. Oh, it's probably just, it's nighttime on the surface. I'm, I'm only a couple blocks below the surface. So it's probably some silly, uh, silly zombie trying to pathfind to me. All right, and then now we can complete this and we're gonna have to give ourselves another way out. There, so I guess I probably should put in one bucket of water and then let the kelp grow. I don't know. We'll, we'll do that later. Too many things, too many things on my brain. that away and now we have to ditch something else okay so we haven't gone that far um, so what I'm thinking is it's a good opportunity to maybe dump the inventory since we're not that far from uh, this space right here Vanilla Raccoon, thank you for stopping by. Good to see you. 
Let's close this so we don't have any friends stop by. Oh, it's not nighttime. It's just raining. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. I'm feeling this is getting kind of framey. Yeah, that's it's probably the rain. Uh, don't need granite diorite. Andesite. Do I have any? Yes, get rid of that. I guess I don't really need to bring smooth stone with me if I'm going to be mining so much of it so we can free up some space there. And then just the iron and the coal. We'll drop that over at the barn. Uh, yeah, I need both buckets of water in order to make an infinite water source underground. So that's why they, I have them both with me. I guess really I have um, I have buckets and shulkers, but I want to have them in my in my inventory. So that's on purpose. I absolutely do that on purpose. I don't know what happens when an evoker wanders among the sheep. I've never actually seen an evoker in game. And I'm doing well. Thanks very much, Villain Raccoon. Uh, coal. And iron we can put up here. Hmm. I think that's all I need to drop off. 